What is up, guys, and welcome back to the NCAA Football 15 Utah Utes Dynasty. We're here today. We've got our first game of the season against Fresno State, who on paper, we look pretty similar on the defensive side. On the offensive side, we look a little bit more superior. But that doesn't mean that they can't put up points because obviously our defense does have some problems. Although we have a lot of offensive weapons coming back, such as Kenneth Scott, Travis Wilson, and James Poole. And we've got some new ones. Got some new players, that's for sure. Matt Anderson, freshman, who will be starting today as our third string wide receiver. And also we have Wesley Johnson, who will be our kick-punt returner for the year. Also a freshman, so the kick another way. Johnson is back to a turn. He'll take it out of the end zone. And he's going to go. He's going to go cut it to the left. He's got some space. He's going to go try to get around the 20, and he gets about to it. So now here comes Travis Wilson in this office. He's going to hand it off to the outside. Goes Poole. He cuts it back in, and he'll get seven here to start the drive. So now once again, Wilson in the backfield. Couple man outside. This time he's going to drop back. Blitz comes. Dumps it off. Oliver has got it, and he's just tripped up from behind. Jarrell Oliver for nine yards. So now Wilson again. He's going to fake it to James Poole. Wilson throws, and it's nearly picked off that time by Kyrie Wilson. So now a third and eight opportunity coming for the Utes. He drops back to throw. He's going to be hit as he throws. He gets it to Kalen Clay, who will be stopped, and it will be a punt coming up here for the Utes. So now Fresno State's got it. Greenlee, the quarterback, drops back to throw. He's looking for a man, and he's got Brown over the middle, over across the 50 here to start the drive. So a quick 21 yards for Fresno State. And now Greenlee back again. And he's dumping it off to Olsen, the big tight end, who breaks the tackle and then gets punished. But still, it'll be third in inches. Need a stop here from the Hughes defense. Greenlee's going to run it, and he will get the first down. So now, once again, Greenlee's back there. He's going to fake it, and he's going to break a tackle. Look at Greenlee. Another broken tackle all the way down to the 20-yard line. Zach Greenlee doing it with his legs thus far. He drops back to throw. Once again, he's looking. And he'll throw it away on third down. So it will be a, a field goal for Fresno State making this one 3 to nothing. So now Poole's going to get it. And he's stopped in the backfield. who will lose five to start the drive. So after a bad run by Poole, it's third and ten. Wilson to throw. He throws and he misses his man. May have had him. He's looking for Matt Anderson on the play. So now again, Green leads back to throw. He looks and he's got it to peck. And Peck gets popped on the play. And now it'll be second and three. Greenlee fakes it. They still have yet to run it with the running back. And it's a throw to Brown. And Brown's got his second reception on the day. 30 yards over the middle. And now Greenlee back to throw again. And he dumps it off to Brown once again. Breaks a tackle. Brown to the 15-yard line. So it's been a good drive here for Fresno State. And now Greenlee's got it. He pitches it to Waller. Waller. All the way to the end zone. What a run that time by Martiz Waller. And it's a touchdown for Fresno State, the first on the game. So now they'll kick it away. And it's Wesley Johnson, the freshman, who's back to return it. He'll take it out of his own end zone. He's going to get to the 10, 20, 30. And he's got some space, and he's got a whole lot of speed. All the way down the sideline, no one's going to catch him. He is gone. So just like that, Wesley Johnson... Puts the Utes right back in this game quickly. And it'll be 10-7 thanks to this Wesley Johnson kick return touchdown. So a big spark there for the Utes. Now back on defense, second and five. Thomas will get the handoff to the outside. And he will be tackled at about the 44-yard line. So now once again, Greenlee back to throw. He throws it in the middle. It's Olsen. Olsen's got a lot of space all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Here we go again. Greenlee will fake it to Waller. He's looking. Throws. And it will be caught by Chad Olsen again. So now it'll be first and goal. Greenlee hands it off. Waller to the outside. He's got some blocking. Cuts it back in. And he'll be just about a few yards short. Third and goal now. Can they stop him? James to the outside. He's got blocks. And he's into the end zone. Dontel James runs it in for Fresno State. And they make it once again a 10-point game. So here we go. Wilson gives it to Poole, who stopped again in the backfield. So looking like a promising start to the drive is stopped. Third and ten. Wilson back to throw. He's looking. 
He throws, and it's caught by Del Sean McClellan for a first down. First and ten now. They fake it to pool. Wilson's back in the pocket to throw. He throws it. He's got a man and a perfect throw. Matt Anderson making the reception the first of his career. So it's 17-7. Fresno State with a lead. Defense really needs to pick it up against the Fresno State offense, and this offense needs to get clicking. So Wilson drops back to throw. He throws it this time to Kenneth Scott, and Scott's going to go and get them about two yards shy. So now third and two. They're going to hand it off to Poole, and he's stopped behind the line. So Fresno State stops him, and they're going to try to kick the field goal. This one is straight up, and it is straight good. So the score is 17 to 10. And now once again, Greenlee's going to hand it off to Waller. Waller's got space. Look at Waller all the way to the 50-yard line. And now here we go again, Greenlee. Quick screen to Scott. Scott missed the tackle, and first down for Fresno State. So once again, Greenlee, a fake screen this time. He throws it deep. He's got a man. It's Brown. And Brown runs all the way into the end zone. He bit on the screen, which led to a wide-open touchdown. So it's 24-10 here at Fresno State. And Utah looking in there, looking there in some trouble. And Wilson on first and 10 misses Kenneth Scott, who he had wide open. So a few missed throws here by Wilson to start it. Third and eight now. Wilson again throws. This time he hits his man, but it's dropped by Delshawn McClellan, so it's another punt. After a fairly good return, Waller is going to get the run here on first down. He's going to get it all the way down. It's about two-yard shot. And once again here, it's going to be a fake. Greenlee's going to run it. He's got blockers out in front. No one's going to catch him. Greenlee all the way to the end zone. A 39-yard rushing touchdown. Fresno State makes this a 21-point game. So they're going to kick it off again. We've got the electric Wesley Johnson, who's already scored one in this game. And he's going to get it. He's going to go right up the middle. He's going to cut it to the outside. He's got space. Wesley Johnson's got a whole lot of speed. And can he get a block? He does. All the way down past the 40, all the way to about the 36-yard line. Another big return by Wesley Johnson, setting up good field position here for the Utes. So Wilson drops back to throw. Over the middle, it's Hatfield with the reception. Dominique Hatfield with the reception. So under 4.30 to go, Wilson dropping back to throw. He's looking. Lobs this one to Kalen Clay, who lays out and makes a 13-yard reception. That was just amazing. So now we cut it down to a 14-point game. Greenlee back to throw again. He throws it, and he's got it to Peck, who will get it across the 40-yard line. Third and 10 now coming up. Greenlee back to throw, being pressured, dumps it off. Olsen runs out of bounds. So now we've got the ball again. And now Poole's going to go. He's going to run it. He's going to cut it back in. Hasn't been the best day so far for James Poole. And now Wilson looking to throw. He's got time, and he throws it to Matt Anderson, and they'll be two yards shy, so they're going to go ahead and punt this ball away. 31-17 is our score. A screen coming, and Zach Greenlee is sacked on the play. That one is uh, Dipmick, I think, was on the sack. So now Waller's going to go, and he's going to get three. He won't do much nonetheless. Fourth and 19 after a punt. That didn't go for much. Wilson's going to run it here. He's going to go. He breaks the tackle all the way inside. To about the 10 yard line. So it's going to be first and goal for the Utes. Second and goal now. They hand it off to Poole. He's going to blow his way into the end zone. Touchdown Utah. And they have essentially erased the 21 point lead. And made this one a one touchdown game. So 14 seconds left. Greenlee jumps it off. Waller's got the reception. And he's going to go. He's going to get it to all, all the way to about the 48, 47 yard line. So they have 8 seconds to try and get something. And now Greenlee back to throw again. And he gets it to Root, and Root will get this one really close, but it may be a little steep. 57 yards coming up, a long field goal. He kicks it, it's got the leg, but it looks like it will be just a little bit left. So it had the leg from 57, but he just missed it. And as you remember last year, first kick of the season for Utah State was a 58-yarder. So it can be done. 31-24, not the, quite the score we hope for as we hit the half. As we look here, Fresno State's been dominating the game. James Poole has not really been there. We need him to step up. We want to win this second half and stop this Fresno State offense. So here we go. We're going to kick it off. Sutcliffe ready to kick this one deep. Back to return it is James, and he will take a knee. 
So here comes this Fresno State offense. Green Lee back to throw. They put up 31 in the first half. First throws to Scott. And Scott's this got this one. <laughs> and it's pretty close there. So now second and six coming up for the Bulldogs. He throws it. And it's to Olsen. And Olsen's got a first down and across the 50 they are again. So second 11 coming up for Fresno State. Greenlee again pressured. And he throws it over the head of his receiver. And it'll be third and 11 coming up. Greenlee drops back to throw. He's looking for a man. He dumps it off to Olsen who will be stopped. But was it punting or they'll kick a field goal. This one's from 56. We know he has the leg. But this one now is to the right. So he's missed two field goals here for Fresno State. And it's still a seven-point game. James Poole had 30 yards uh, rushing in the first half. He gets the handoff here for a solid 13. And now Poole's going to get it again. He's going to go right up the gut. And it's another first down here for James Poole. And now they're going to fake it to Poole. Looking to throw. He throws. And it's caught by Kenneth Scott, who came back for that one and gets it inside the red zone. So now inside the red zone, this one's going to give you given to Poole. He's going to bounce it to the outside, and he's going to get about 8. So he's already passed 30 on this drive, which is more than he had in this entire first half. And now the screenplay to Oliver. Oliver gets about to the 5-yard line. Now first and goal. Wilson fakes it to Oliver. Looking to his right, he's got a man. And caught that time by Greg Reese in the end zone. So just like that, Utah ties this game up at 31. And now Greenlee will fake it. He's going to run it right up the middle. Look at Greenlee go all the way across to about the 47. So Greenlee this time will give it to Thomas. Thomas on the run, and he's going to go. He's going to get it past the 50. So Fresno State's got a little drive going. Third and three. Greenlee looks, throws it up, and is caught by Brown. What a throw and what a catch in double coverage. Greenlee this time. A screen nearly picked off. Porter should have had that one. But it'll be third and seven nonetheless coming up. Greenlee back to throw. A screen play caught by Waller who stopped behind the 30-yard line. At about the 33 and well behind the line. So fourth and ten, a field goal coming up. We know he's got the range. Does he have the accuracy? And he does. So it's 34-31. Fresno State takes the lead. And now again, James Poole is going to get the handoff. And he's going to go. He stumbles, but he still manages to stay on his feet and gets five. So now third and two. Poole's going to get the handoff. And look at Poole. He breaks the tackle. Still on his feet all the way across the 35-yard line. And what a big run that time by James Poole. And now Poole's going to not get the handoff. Wilson's going to run it instead. And Wilson running all the way down to about the 10 or 11-yard line. So now second and three coming up. Oliver in the backfield. And he's going to go. He's going to power his way in. So another touchdown here for the Utes. They have been on fire. 28-3 since 31-10 score. Greenlee back to throw. He throws. This one's picked off. It's Porter. He dropped one earlier. He doesn't drop this one, and it's an interception for the Utes. So now Poole's going to get it to the outside. He's got some blocking. A man falls down, and look at Poole. He's all the way across the 20, across the 10, into the end zone for James Poole. And the Utes answer right back from the Porter interception. So now again, Fresno State Greenlee gives it to Waller, who is stuffed in the backfield, not going anywhere. Third and 12 coming up. Greenlee back to throw. He's going to go. He scrambles a little bit. And now he throws it deep. And this one's intercepted. Porter has got his second of the game. Porter's going to try to return this one back. He's got it almost to about the 50. He tries to run the side and doesn't get much. So we end the third quarter. And two big turnovers leading to good field position and a touchdown already earlier. The Utes have been playing sensational on defense. And offense has really been clicking here in the second half. So here we go. Second and seven now. Poole's going to get the handoff. He's got some space. And he's going to try to plow his way ahead. He'll be a yard shy. So Wilson's going to get the handoff to Poole. And Poole, look at him plow his way forward for five. And now again, they're going to give the pool to the outside once again. He's got the space, and he, he can't quite break that tackle, but still it's inside the 25-yard line. So now Wilson once again. This time it's to Oliver, and Oliver will get six. So just trying to get that rushing attack going here. 
And just as I say that, Wilson drops back to throw, but he dumps it off to Poole nonetheless. And Poole's going to get them all the way inside the 10. So it'll be third and goal after a few bad plays. Wilson throws, and it's tipped away that time by Jamal Ellis intended for Anderson. And we'll take the field goal and make it 48-34. First play, and this one's intercepted. Mo Taley, he's going to bring it all the way back. It's a pick six on the very first play. So just like that, the Utes respond with a touchdown right after they score a touchdown. So Greenlee now back to throw. First and ten, he dumps it off to Waller. Waller will get seven. So second and three now. Greenlee back to throw. It's a screen set up. But he's sacked in the backfield. And now it's third and 14. Greenlee to throw. Miss tackle. Waller's got it. He's going to go. He breaks a tackle. And he will break another as he runs out of bounds. It will be fourth and seven as they'll punt it away with 3.20 to go. It's a 21-point game, almost essentially out of reach. So Johnson's going to get the return here. He's going to cut it back upfield. And he'll be stopped after a 13-yard gain. 1.30 to go. They need a first down to end it. They give it to the powerful Oliver. And Oliver gets the first down. And this game will be over. The Utes win a closer one than the score will say. Three defensive turnovers leading to three touchdowns was huge. James Poole finished with 195 yards. All of most coming in the second half. In fact, 155 of those 195 came in that. Which is just crazy. Because he only had 30 in the first half. Actually, wait. Is that right math? No, it'd be 165. Yeah, 165 yards in the second half. Excuse my bad math. But it was really the defense that really showed up. After it was 31-10, to 10, it was looking down in the dumps for the Utes. But some big defensive stops and the offense starting to click. It was 45-3. to, to three. Yeah, 45-3 to three after that point. Which is just an insane mark if you think about it. 45-3, to three, that's a blowout. And this one ended up being a 21-point win for the Utes. So it looks good on the scoreboard. Defense really played well in the second half, although our first half looked awful as we gave it way too many yards and way too many easy touchdowns. Got to really fix that up. But still, it's a win nonetheless, and we'll take it, even if it is by 21 points. Still definitely take that. But now we've got a bigger matchup. Home against Michigan as we lost last year at the Big House. Can we redeem ourselves here today? See you guys later. Goodbye.